graphic extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can uh, use an owl brush or obviously any other brush stroke and use it to turn into a watercolour effect or water paint effect and then use that as a brush stroke. Right, first thing to do is I'm just going to go over here I'm using Photoshop CC 2014. Let's go to layer and duplicate layer. quite like using effects on multiple layers so you can actually just add and blend different so I'm just going to blur this now. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Filter, and I'm just going to go for it just a Gaussian blur. So I'm just going to spread it out. So I just want to sort of like a very fairly large, not always straight to the edge, because you want to avoid the edge, otherwise you end up with a sort of like seam in the design. So once you've actually got that, what I want to do, click there, just have that above. Just set the blending mode so you can actually see that glow or dark shadow, I should say behind now just flatten that and I'm just gonna just change exposure just slightly just make it a bit bright there a bit too dark I think click OK now go to the filter and filter gallery and once it actually appears it does eventually appear Actually, I'm just going to get rid of those ones. I've just noticed there's a couple of other entries, so I don't want those ones. Just want the watercolor. So watercolor, change brush. To, not going to go with shadow intensity because obviously that just makes it darker and darker. And all you could obviously end up with a silhouette brush then. So make the texture so you can actually see some texture there. Click OK. And now another thing I love doing is just apply the filter brush filter again. So just play filter gallery. And you get a slightly nicer effect and of course you can then go fade fade filter gallery just want to reduce it down a little bit i don't want that full intensity of that thing and then go for filter gallery again and just subtle change like i say i think with a lot of these filters filter gallery they don't always work really well as a one click effect but they really work well in combination with the themselves or other filters so and obviously just apply them a few times I say fade them as well if they're just a bit too just gonna fade that just slightly okay now once you've got that you can actually go over to the edit menu define brush preset and just define that as a brush stroke now once you've done that I'm just gonna get rid of all that fill fill white so just get rid of that now I can go over to the brushes, brush tools, and you can see the brush stroke just then. Just select it there. Right, so you can apply that. As a few other earlier examples, which are actually doing testing, I, you can actually just create other effects. That's using the water paint. So, again, very useful for creating different brush strokes just basically from the same brush set and now one thing is if you've got lots and lots of brushes hundreds of brushes you can set up a folder and what you can do then you can set up an action that captures all these sort of fading paints water paint watercolor etc effects and then you can just run through them all and use a file automate batch and just basically run through an action and just apply that effect to all of them so you've got a vast selection of brushes from a single set of brushes Hope you found this of interest.